Hello there, welcome in. My name is Ann Teeter Butters, but everyone could call me Butters for short. What we're going to learn about today is about a update that Twitch created on November 30th, excuse me, November 30th, 2021. And it is their new suspicious user detection that people could use on their channel, specifically if there are streamers. And they say that this feature uses machine learning to identify and restrict accounts suspended, excuse me, suspected of evading your channel level bans. You can adjust or deactivate this feature at any time by going to the moderation section under the settings tab in your creator dashboard. So we're going to learn how to go through there and see what that means. So when you go do that, we're going to switch over and basically go and type into your Twitch uh, channel and log in. As soon as you're logged into your own account, I'm going to show you through my account, which is Anteater Butters. So once you log in, on the top right corner, you're going to see your own icon. Mine is my own, my uh, Butters. And so you will click that, go to that, and go to your creator dashboard down the list. Click that, it's going to send you off to your creator dashboard. In here, this is where you're going to find the information we need. It's going to look a lot similar to this. This is my creator, uh, excuse me, my custom layout. You can manage it yourself a uh, hide away, but that's a different topic. So what we're going to do is your creator dashboard is on your left panel on the left side of your screen. It's going to say creator dashboard on the uh, side here, and you could lower it here or expand it with the arrow right next to the creator dashboard wording text. After that, we're going to go scoot down to, uh, and scroll down. There's going to be a couple levels inside community content settings and viewer rewards. Uh, at this particular time, this is how the setup is. It may change over time. Right now, what we're going to do is click on the settings icon, uh, click on the drop menu, and we're going to go to moderation. Click that icon, go there, and it says new item. So we're going to hover over it, and it says uh, right now the sections look auto mod controls, and then under that, and scroll down a little bit more towards the middle of the screen, and it's going to says going to tell you suspicious user controls. That's going to allow you to control this feature. So right now, their default mode is that they are enabled at a level two. I we don't know what that means, so we're gonna have to look into it. And it says ban evasion detection, a new item. When enabled, potentially ban in invaders will be detected and flagged for moderators to review. We're gonna click that, see what that means, and basically it gives you all this information. And basically, it gives you their recommended signals, and their system will identify potentially banned evaders as either possibly or likely. Are their de uh, default recommendation applies to mo monitoring their basically messages, possible evaders, and restrict chat from likely evaders. But channels will, uh, with more active mod team or less trouble with banned evader, basically evaders, may prefer to only monitor uh, monitor the likely evaders. Basically, they have a demo to view. We're going to click it and see what that looks like. So it seems like they have a way for you to monitor when you see it in your particular chat. And it's just going to refresh all over again to show you. So it's going to be in your chat and it's going to give you the user, suspicious user monitor by as possible. And after that, you could click that person and they have a little emblem as an admin view or a little shield as a per se icon you click that afterwards and this is going to manage your suspicious user either restrict the cursor or the person named cursor whoever it is you're going to be able to do it that way so you could use that and view the demo several ways and rewatch it over and over we're going to rewatch it one more time and there we go that's pretty much it uh, if you'd like to see it, you could view it there yourself on your own channel or rewatch it a couple of times here on YouTube. Otherwise, it is detection setting is at a level two. You could rearrange it uh, at a glider here, seems like at a level one, which is down toning it to only likely evaders. I'm going to slide it down and all the way down and it says heads up, uh, turning off if they, uh, basically this will allow ban invaders to enter chat unchecked and may lead to disruption in your stream so basically it's off and let's see level one it says basically that likely evaders all possible evaders will be flagged for monitoring their messages will be still delivered to all chatters and seeing there let's click their revert uh recommendation 
right and which is a level two right the recommended is to also turn this on for all possible invaders right and so it says restricted here and monitoring for that one so let's see what our other options are it says monitoring or restricted and the other one same monitor restricted but for likely evaders is restricted and for possible evaders it, it is on monitor excuse me monitoring mode at the very moment and so let's click this uh and hover well you just need to hover over it and it says uh our recommended settings apply to monitoring to possible ban evaders and restrict likely ban evaders for sending messages at and let's see that's basically it uh, learn more here there's a on the bottom uh, right corner it says a uh, click there and it's going to send us to a new link as well to give uh, you a bunch of information and details about what this means and about the update and a bunch of stuff that you could learn basically that's giving you information of what it means and if you just want to scroll over pause this video and just read it what that means for you otherwise i'm just going to keep hovering over this and just read it to myself and just go along with it and if you want to read it go ahead if not that's okay and learn what you will basically kind of regurgitates of what that means there's a back to top if you don't want to keep reading otherwise it gives you instructions of where to go uh, kind of like more in text of how to do it and other visuals like pictures and other uh frequently asked questions how do you turn it off and so on forth or so on like that so feel free to look at what that means for you and it says uh oh and an interesting fact that this is they ask can this be used on mobile this feature cannot be available on mobile devices at this time so it is uh, specifically for pc uh if you're on a pc so beware of that as well so that is how you do that. Appreciate everyone coming in. I hope everyone learned from this. And if you liked the video, I hope you uh, get, excuse me, hit that like button and subscribe. And then if not, uh, let me know as well what we like to learn next. I will try to figure out what you'd like to uh, learn. And so appreciate you liking this comment and thank you for dropping by. Take care.